Dear beloved brothers and sisters in Christ, may the grace and peace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with each and every one of you as we gather in this sacred digital space. We are truly blessed to have you join us today for a moment of reflection and divine connection. Before we delve into the profound message we have regarding Father Altman, we humbly ask for your support by expressing your gratitude for this video and becoming a part of our community through subscribing to our channel. Your subscription ensures that you remain connected to the spiritual messages that flow through this online sanctuary. As we embark on this journey together, let us unite our hearts in prayer, seeking the guidance, grace, and wisdom of our Lord Jesus Christ to illuminate our paths and bless us in every aspect of our lives. Together, as a community of faith, let us lift our voices in unison, creating a harmonious symphony of devotion that resonates through the digital realms. May our collective prayers bring forth a sense of peace and enlightenment, allowing the Divine Presence to manifest in our midst. Let us now bow our heads and open our hearts in prayer, offering our sincere devotion to God. In the comment section below, feel free to share your own heartfelt words or simply type, Amen, uniting our spirits and connecting with the holiness that surrounds us. May the love and blessings of our Heavenly Father be poured upon each one of you as we dive deeper into the divine wisdom that awaits us. May our time together be filled with inspiration, enlightenment, and a profound sense of purpose. Heavenly Father, as I start this day, I come before you with a grateful heart. I pray all these things in Jesus' name. Amen. Beloved members of the Christian community, as we come together in the presence of our Lord, we seek to contemplate the present condition of the Church and the trials that confront us as devout followers of Christ. This is a period that calls for profound reflection and introspection as we navigate the intricacies of our religious beliefs. Since the promulgation of the Church of Traditional Custodis on the auspicious occasion of the Feast of Our Lady of Mount Carmel in July of 2021, there has been a growing recognition of a perceived deviation in our religious customs. We have been informed that our present faith differs from the pre-Vatican II era. Such assertions have led certain individuals to openly question the authenticity of Pope Francis as the rightful heir to the legacy of St. Peter, the solid foundation upon which Christ established his Church. These profound inquiries demand our earnest contemplation. They call for us to approach them with wisdom and a steadfast commitment to upholding the teachings of the Church. We must not be easily influenced by doubt or be led astray by divisive forces. Rather, let us humbly engage in prayer, seeking the guidance of the Holy Spirit and fostering a genuine spirit of discernment as we navigate these complex issues. In the present era, we have witnessed the emergence of voices like Father Altman who have expressed legitimate concerns regarding the trajectory of the Church. They have drawn attention to the appointment of individuals whose beliefs and actions stand in contradiction to the moral teachings upheld by our faith. These concerns serve as a reminder for us to remain vigilant and discerning in our adherence to the teachings of the Church. It is crucial that we seek clarity and truth amidst these challenges, guided by our unwavering commitment to the Gospel values and the teachings handed down to us through the ages. It is indeed crucial to recognize and respect diverse perspectives within the Church, fostering an environment of constructive dialogue. However, we must always prioritize unity in our faith. Disagreements or uncertainty should not undermine our shared mission and purpose as members of the Body of Christ. Instead, our primary focus should be on nurturing a deeper relationship with Jesus and living out His Gospel message with unwavering conviction and love. It is important to remember that our faith is not solely dependent on the actions or decisions of any individual but on the timeless and unchanging truths revealed to us by Christ Himself. Our foundation rests upon the rock of Peter, and we can take solace in the promise that the forces of evil will not prevail against the Church. In these challenging times, it is imperative that we hold firm to the teachings of the Church and remain unwavering in our commitment to Christ. We must approach the current uncertainties with a spirit of prayer and discernment, seeking guidance from the Holy Spirit and the intercession of our Blessed Mother. Let us lift up our Holy Father Pope Francis in our prayers, asking that he be guided by the Holy Spirit as he leads the Church. May we also pray for unity and understanding among all Catholics, recognizing that the majority of believers strive to live out their faith in accordance with the teachings of the Church. Together, let us stand united in our commitment to Christ, 
seeking the guidance of the Holy Spirit and the intercession of our Blessed Mother in these challenging times. In times of uncertainty and doubt, we find solace in the unwavering nature of our Almighty God. He remains constant amidst the changing tides of life. His love is eternal, His mercy endures forever, and His justice is intertwined with His compassion. As we navigate through these challenging circumstances, let us hold tightly to this truth and place our trust in God's divine providence. Let us remember that He is in control, and His plans are greater than any human understanding. Amidst differing opinions and challenges within the Church, it is vital for us to remain united in our faith. We must prioritize prayer and discernment, seeking the guidance of the Holy Spirit in all our actions and decisions. Through prayer, we can find clarity, peace, and strength to navigate the complexities we face as faithful Catholics. Let us support and encourage one another on our journey of faith. Together, we can foster unity and understanding, even in the midst of disagreements. May we extend love and compassion to our fellow believers, recognizing that our ultimate goal is to live out our faith in accordance with the teachings of the Church. In these uncertain times, let us remember to pray for our Holy Father Pope Francis. Let us ask the Holy Spirit to guide and inspire him in his role as the Shepherd of the Church. May he lead with wisdom, humility, and a deep commitment to preserving the integrity of our faith. In seeking guidance and intercession, we turn to our Blessed Mother Mary. She is the mother of all believers and a source of comfort and strength. Through her example and prayers, may she guide us closer to her Son Jesus Christ, who is the foundation of our faith. May the Holy Spirit continue to bless us with wisdom, discernment, and unity as we navigate these uncertain times. Let us remain steadfast in our devotion to Christ and to His Church, trusting that He will guide us through any challenges we may encounter. Thank you for being a cherished part of this sacred gathering. May God's grace accompany you on your journey until we gather again. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Thank you.